part 5 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Bento Oreo introduced some of the strongest stands in the entire series. Former member of Pescione and Resident Cheese, Panacotta Fugo, wields the deadly purple haze. When Fugo isn't tutoring Narancia, he's violently melting anyone who's a threat. Boy, do I love the design of this stand. Purple Haze's design is reminiscent of plague doctors from the 1600s who wore long masks resembling beaks. These masks were often filled with herbs, straw, and spices to help prevent doctors from contracting diseases. But in any case, Purple Haze is not protecting you from any illness. Quite the opposite. You can all fret not. I have the cure right here. Cure? Give me that! You don't want to drink that. Ah, curelicious. Is it working? Yeah, Clip. It's working. Just go towards the light. I'm scared. Is that you, Grandmama? Oh, come here. Oh, Clip. Purple Haze's killer virus infection carries a particularly deadly flesh-eating virus released from one of the three bulbs on each of its hands. That's where the main power of the stand comes from. In each bulb lies a virus that rapidly multiplies in the human body, overriding metabolic functions and making the skin rot from the inside. Within 30 seconds, the virus can completely eat the entire adult male and leave behind nothing but a puddle of icky goo. Now that's a lot of damage! The virus targets anyone within its short range, including Fugo himself. Like, dude, it's gotta suck to have a stand that can kill you. I mean, let's be real, it's still honestly better than being trapped in a pylon. Its range can be slightly enhanced if Purple Haze decides to fire a bulb at one of its enemies. But while it is indeed strong, the range is short, and the virus appears to be weak to sunlight. With this description, is there anything in our world that acts like the killer virus infection? First and foremost, we should state that purple haze is not venomous. It might be important to distinguish the difference between poisonous and venomous for this discussion, since I hear a lot of people talk about purple haze in relation to the potency of its poison. Something that's poisonous will kill you if you eat it, while something that's venomous will kill you if it injects venom into you. Suginiyamaiwa! Well, Purple Haze punches someone, injecting toxins into them. Oh ho ho, how wrong you are. It is not the act of smashing a bulb into an enemy that gives them the infection. Rather, it is upon breaking the bulb is the infection released. Hence why Fugo can infect himself. Venom contains a variety of proteins and polypeptides which help take control of blood coagulation, blood pressure, and transmission of nerves. And while we're at it, it might be helpful to clearly define the difference between viruses and bacteria. A virus is a packet of replicating DNA or RNA surrounded by protein, while bacteria are single-celled organisms that replicate at exponential rates. A key distinction is that viruses are much, much smaller and cannot replicate without a host cell. Alright, let's do Purple Haze! So, is Purple Haze really a killer virus infection? Honestly, it's a little bit of a toss-up, but I am leaning towards much more that it is a bacterial infection. Nothing stings more than a knife in your back. Welcome to WatchDojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 anime betrayals. Number 15. Not you! Flesh-eating virus just doesn't really describe what's going on here. First of all, a virus spreads by encoding its genetic information onto other cells, which... I don't know if that's done in 30 seconds or not. What gets to me is there are more cases of bacterial infections weak to sunlight rather than viruses. Experimentally, certain viruses have been subjugated to different wavelengths of light to keep them from spreading to other cells, but in my research I haven't found a single strain of any common virus weak to sunlight. And, dear viewer, I was determined enough to directly translate the cover page of Man in the Mirror and Purple Haze Part 3 because I speak the weeaboo scripto. I can confirm the direct translation refers to Purple Haze giving off a uidus, or virus. From how Purple Haze is portrayed in the manga, it acts far more like a hyperactive strain of necrotizing fasciitis. To spare you guys the displeasure 
of witnessing vomit-inducing images that I had to slog through to get this video out. And also to avoid demonetization, I will not be showing any images of people suffering from necrotizing fasciitis. Please search at your own risk. Basically, necrotizing fasciitis is a bacterial infection that injects alpha and theta toxins into the cells to break down red blood cells and blood vessels and eat away at the skin cells. The mortality rate of necrotizing fasciitis is about 30% and it's commonly caused by group A, oh I'm gonna butcher this name, Streptococci, Streptococcus pyogenes, a distant cousin of strep throat. The infection is most commonly spread through open wounds, perfect for a stand that punches stuff really really fast. The fastest recorded fatality of necrotizing fasciitis is under 48 hours. If Purple Haze is using this infection, it would have to speed up the process a lot, but it's close enough. The only dent in this theory is that necrotizing fasciitis is not a virus. You know, let's be honest, uh, maybe Iraqi just doesn't know the difference between bacterial and virus infections. I mean, honestly, I don't blame him because I had to look up half of the stuff making this video outside the grade school knowledge I had beforehand, but you know, Iraqi forgets. So that is the science behind Purple Haze. And let's just avoid distortion. I mean, it's super cool that Fugo Stan gets stronger the more he holds back, but at the same time, he's killing enemies faster than nerve gas would. So I'm not even gonna go into that section. Cause, oh God. Oh God, I'm gonna have to clear my search history. Morty. Why? With part 5 confirmed, now's the right time to like and subscribe for more content and updates. Not that any of that actually matters, I mean you'll just press the button and King Crimson will just erase what you did, so, you know. Have a beautiful duang and I'll see you all next time.